very much. That is Jacobs. <laughs> Where is he anyway? In his bed. Probably. Anyway, you don't need to buy him back with bacon butties. He loves you. Jacob! Come on, first day back at school, there's no points for being late. Jacob! I'll go get him. Probably still zonked. Jacob! Alicia, he's not here. What do you mean he's not here? His bed's been slept in, but he's not there. Well, is he in the garden? Jakey! Jake! No, he's not in the garden. His coat's gone. Oh my God, David, he's gone, hasn't he? I don't want to go back to school. Yeah, well, I never wanted to go, but you'll get in trouble if you don't. Uh, you're going the wrong way, Divi. You shot that way. See Jake. No, why? <laughs> Dad, please tell me Jake's with you. Yeah, not seen hide no hair. Why? What's he doing now? No, it's just him and Alicia. They've had a bit of a do. Well, we just like Samson. Don't want to go back to school. No, listen, it's more than that. She's told him. What? That she's not his mother. Excellent, Val. Thanks for that. You know, big trap. Wind your neck in. Cuts out the bag now, anyway. Yes, so who is his mum? Layla. So he grew up thinking that his auntie was his mum. It's a brilliant plan. Are you my real dad? Why? Of course. Why don't I look real? Just, you're not supposed to tell lies, are you? No, definitely not. They should have told him straight away. I guess it's easy to say when it's not you, Sam. Hey? No, no, no. It's not because we've found a private buyer. It's just we've decided not to sell. Yeah, thanks anyway. Bye. Which part of withdrawing the sale don't they get? Wait a minute. Am I still asleep here? The farm's off the market. Back in business. What? That's all good and everything, Mum, but how? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? You took all the cars. No comment. So how did you pay Declan off then? No comment. Oh, come on. If I knew that's what you're up Adam, to, I... How about doing a legitimate day's work now we're back in action? Yeah, all right. I'm just saying. Come on, dumb, you know. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> and so it begins. My son being seduced by the glamorous life of crime. Hey, thought we were OK. We are. It's him I'm worried about. Hmm. Mm. Still sulking about Alicia. Still think I'm an unhinged brick throwing lunatic. I never said that. But you think it's possible. Priya, we know how you feel about it. Yeah, but it doesn't make me guilty. If she's not having her toast, can I have it? Hey, you've already had cereal, a banana, and a yogurt. <laughs> All right, don't bend the door down. I'm coming. Where'd you put it, eh? Rishi, have you seen Jacob? Oh. Have you seen Jacob? He's gone missing. And you think I've what? Abducted no, him. no, no, listen, I, I, I don't want any trouble. Noah, have, have you seen him? Have you heard from him? Well? Anything at all? No, uh, okay, well, if you do, please, just... Yeah, of course, um, we'll come and help you look for him, if you like. Yeah, of course. Oh, that'd be great, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll help too. So this row? It wasn't a row. But he was upset. I had just told him that I wasn't his real mum, so what do you think? I should be out looking for him myself, do you know I'm still so useless? Have you spoken to his dad? No. No, he's on holiday. And you definitely don't think he'll have gone to find his mum? I'm his mum! Apologies. Your sister. Yeah, sorry. I'm scared he's gone to look for her. Not that we know where she is, I've not heard from her for months. I just came to see if you needed our work. You must be going off your head. If there's anything I can do to help, you know, I know it can't be easy in finding out and, and running off. Finding out what? Well, you know, about Leila. So the whole village knows now? Val blurted it out. Val. Always Val, isn't it? I don't think she meant to. For what it's worth. I know it can't have been easy living with that. I'm really sorry, Rachel. But I can't really think about that right now, OK? Thanks. <sighs> Shh. 
she has totally backed him into a corner. Either he stumps up the cash for her new place, or she stays put. Got Katie. Not helping. <laughs> Come on. He's treated her like scum, she's treated him like dirt. Sorry if I've no interest. Yeah, well, I wouldn't expect it. But I am worried about him. I doubt he'd lose sleep over you. Robbie, is it the end of the line? Oh, really? I, I was excited for a second, then I realised there's nothing to inherit. Oh, thought of any ways to squeeze Declan dry? Yeah, cos that's all I do, isn't it? Just sit around and think of ways to screw him. Financially speaking, of course. See ya. See? It's quite sexy. Beats Simper and Kate, She was dull. He has got to get rid. What? Fail. Kate had the last cup. She's got to go, Declan. Can't you see it? And she wants the money for Debbie's. Over my dead body. Well, it will be. If this carries on. Jake! Jake, um! This will be Kay in ten years' time. You mark my words. I'd sick, man. Everyone should know who their parents are. Even when it's a disappointment. Well, not you and Kay, huh? I meant your mother. I was just doing her best. Yeah, so was I. It's not how Eric sees it, though. At least I wasn't putting on a phony illness. You'll be lucky if you ever see your laddie again after her meddling. Who knows what all these lies have done to him? <sighs> Come on, I'll buy you not chocolate to cheer you up. Sam! Oh, there's, there's no sign of him at the pavilion. Still, no word from the police. Right, well, why don't you and Noah go and look down there? We'll check the woods, eh? Yeah, let's do it. I am not going back without him. I can't believe he's done this again. one of them chocolate eclairs for when they find Jake. They're his favourites. How's that going to help? Oh, he's bound to be peckish when he turns up. So it's a sorry your mum's your auntie cake? Yeah, that should do it. Uh, not too worried, then. That poor lad could be anywhere. Nah, this is what he does. You'll come back when he's simmered down. Yeah, I heard about Jacob. Have you had a look around your place? I uh, will as soon as I get back. Oh, she must be a wreck. Oh, it's every parent's worst nightmare. That and punt us running off without paying. I thought he'd be decent, being honest John's brother. Still, as the father of a thug, maybe not. Um, listen, Diane, Ross is gone now. It doesn't alter what he did, though, does it? He owes me money. Well, I'm sure he's good for it. He didn't leave the forward and address. Well, there must be some misunderstanding. That and other likely stories. How much? Noah? I meant to be out looking for Jacob. I was. It's just I got a bit peckish. A bit? Right, well, uh, OK, I'll leave you to it then. I'll catch you up. Shave or what? Right, I want a triple decker special win. Crisps, cheese, and bananas. Got it? Someone's feeling hungry. Sorry, but I'll have to get back to you. Please tell me that wasn't the bank. They want a follow-up meeting. And you hung up on them? What are you thinking? That it'll keep. No, Declan, it won't. They're our only chance of getting out of this hole, and you're fobbing them off. And why? Because your wife is messing with your head again. Out. Oi, can we just deal with one problem at a time? And first, you need to pay Katie. You're insane. Why should I? To get her out of this house and out of your head. Well, then she's won. Every day that she is under this roof, digging at you and rubbing your nose in it, you are losing focus. She is not getting another penny from me. Fine. 
But I am telling you, if she stays here, we lose it all. I never should have told him. You know, David was right, I should have just kept my gob shut. But I was so frightened of him finding out from somebody else. I couldn't bear that, you know. Is that ever likely? David's ex. She's got it in for me, not, not that I blame her. What? Priya's just called. He's up hers. No one's been hiding him. Come here, it's okay, it's okay. He's safe now. Oh, God. Did you know? Know what? My mum really wasn't my mum. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you was my friend. It's because I'm your friend that I didn't. She is still your mum, really. You're as bad as them. First they tell you a lie, then they tell you the truth. Then they want you to believe the first lie. I know, it must be so confusing. We'd have little boys, eh, Sam? <laughs> no. If he'd come to ours, Samson would have probably hidden him in pig pen. <laughs> yeah, he'd just throw a seat on him. <laughs> Not the brightest. <laughs> uh, none of this is funny. I mean, who knows what sort of state he's in? His brain's probably fried. Yeah, well, maybe Alicia will be honest with him in future. We can't all be great parents like you, Sam. I'm not great. Yeah? The way you explain everything to Samson, God, me, I'm winging it at best. No, you're not. Look at how you faced up to the truth with Rishi being his dad. I took loads of guts. At least Archie won't be lied to. Kids just need truth. Like adults, really. Hey, maybe we'll get it right by kid number three, eh? Hey? I'm, I'm not saying we should have one right now. I just mean, one day, maybe. I've got to go. What can I get you? Don't tempt me. Coffee to go, please. So, this should clear in a couple of days. Thanks. I'll make a decent deposit. If I'd have known you were so cheap, I would have done it weeks ago. Oh, actually, could you make it out to Katie Adaman? I had to think of my reputation, so I dropped Macy a while back. In all respects. I need to see Jay. What's happened? Are you sorting out Jacob? Did it even occur to you that that could be Archie in a few years? Running away because of all the lies we've told him. Let's discuss this inside. What did I tell you? That lad loves drama. Drama? His whole world probably just fell apart. How? He's got a man that idolises him. I can think of worse things, so I'm going to stick the kettle on. Does she not realise how good this must be for him? Amy. I know you're still thinking of... Kyle in all of this. And I know I've said it before, but there's going to come a time when you... you're going to have to let him go. And how do I do that? Let him go? I know he's in your heart, and he always will be, but... this situation can't go on. He needs to know that I love him. Oh. It's out of your hands. I bet all Jacob wants is to find his real mum. And that should be okay for him to do that because maybe that's where he belongs. Maybe he belongs with whoever he's known the most. Who's cared for him, given him stability the most, loved him the most. Nobody loves Kyle more than oh, me. That's as maybe, but this is damaging for both of you. You don't understand. I do. I really do. And I think, in the future, Kyle will make a point of finding you and thanking you for your selflessness. 
selflessness for letting him go. Shall I just push off a tall building and be done with it? Because I will do, happily. She's one. Living in a pokey little cottage. How is that winning? Declan, we can't keep going round in circles. For want of anything better to do? We can build all this back up. Very rousing. Anything you have ever wanted, you've got. Maybe once. We've still got the brains and the experience and the guts. And now, crucially, a bank willing to listen. You really believe this can happen? You're telling me you don't. And what better revenge than success? Look, I understand. Jacob going missing has raised concerns. It's not made me concerned, it's made me realise something. That I can't lie to Sam and I definitely can't lie to my little boy. OK, I understand. Stop saying that because you obviously don't. Look, we'll sort all this out in the future. Oh, it's the future that's worrying me. That's why it needs to be sorted now. But this isn't the same situation as Jacob. Look, I am in a relationship with the most honest man on the planet. Have you any idea how hard it is lying to him? I can understand it must be very difficult. Lying to Sam is hard enough, but one day I'm going to have to lie to Archie too, and I'm telling you now, it's not going to happen. But look, this has all worked very well so far. And you can't pretend it hasn't had its positives. <laughs> positives? I've been sent half crazy. Oh, come on, you played a large part in dictating how it all would work. This last year has been so stressful. Yeah. I understand stress. I watched one of my sons lose his wife and then take my granddaughter away. Priya is hardly eating and I really fear she's really losing grip on things. And if you say you can't do this anymore, then it looks like Jay's life is ruined too. Please, Rachel. Oh, you can't guilt me like this. I never wanted to wreck anyone's life. Well, then don't, I implore you. But I've got to think about Archie and Sam. Oh, I'm sorry, I just came to see if Jay's... I'm sorry, is something wrong? I, um... I just came about Archie. Parenting disagreement. Nothing serious. Yeah. So, anyway, um, bonfire night at Zach and Lisa's. Yeah, I look forward to it. Really? Think Uncle Zach will be up for fireworks? Might see him off. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Rachel. Thank you. Refusing to go. He doesn't get to refuse, right? He does as he's told. I don't think that's gonna work. Please don't tell me about my child. And do not pretend that you're not loving this. Oh, yeah, because I really get off on seeing kids upset. Right. Can we talk about this without arguing? Okay, it's just an idea, but why doesn't he stay here? No. No way. Just no. listen. Just for a couple of days. I'm not going back. Right, that's enough. It needs me, really. It's just upset, you know. I just don't... Just give him time to cool off. Get his head straight. I think it's a good idea. Look, I know... I know what you're trying to do, right? But I'll decide because I'm his mum. No, you're not. You're just a liar. Can't you understand? I'm not coming home. Right, that's it. You do not talk to her like that. No, it is not okay. And you're not my dad either, so you can't tell me anything. <sighs> Just give him a chance to miss you. 
then he'll be desperate to come home. Especially if Noah gives him all his chores. Jake, me and David, we're going to go now. If that's what you want. But you ring me if you want me to come and get you. The David... David's going to bring you your pyjamas tonight. Okay. He'd already packed a bag last night. Bye then, sweetheart.